Now let's see how to make a buttonhole with your machine. On the front panel, you can see the six different styles of buttonhole available on your machine, and they're displayed right here. You have six different buttonholes to choose from. With the basic bar tack, a round end style, it's rounded on one end, three different styles of keyhole buttonhole, and a stretch buttonhole for stretch fabric. I'm going to use the basic bar tack buttonhole to demonstrate how to sew a buttonhole, and I can see that stitch number 20. I'll come up here and select stitch number 20, and then when I pull out the presser foot recommendation chart, I can see for stitch number 20 that I need presser foot D, and here's presser foot D right here. It's my buttonhole foot. So that's the foot we'll use to sew our buttonhole. To sew a buttonhole, what you're going to need is your button, of course, and the buttonhole foot from your machine. You're going to need a fabric marking pen or pencil, a small ruler, and from your machine's accessories, you need your uh, seam ripper and a straight pin. Before we mark the fabric for the buttonhole, prepare the fabric by placing an interfacing and stabilizer between the layers of fabric. This will help the dense stitches of the buttonhole from puckering the fabric. Now place your button where you want to sew the buttonhole and mark one end of the buttonhole on the fabric with your fabric marking tool and use your small ruler to mark the center area of the buttonhole. This will help us know where to place the fabric under the buttonhole foot. Next, we're going to place our button in the buttonhole foot. To do that, I'm going to open up this slider at the back of the buttonhole foot, place the button in position, and close the slider. By placing the button in the back of the buttonhole foot, the machine will know how to make the buttonhole exactly the right size for that button. Now we're ready to place the foot on the machine. Press the foot release lever at the back of the press foot to release the foot that's already on the machine. And we're going to line up the presser foot pin of the buttonhole foot underneath this part of the presser foot holder. And lower the presser foot holder to snap the foot in place. Then we're going to take our upper thread and place it through the whole opening of the foot because we want our thread underneath the presser foot. Next, we're going to place our fabric, lining it up with the marking that we drew on the fabric. So we want the sideways line to line up with the hole in the buttonhole foot. Lower the presser foot lifter, then bring down your buttonhole lever. Make sure it's pressed all the way down. And we're ready to start sewing. So the buttonhole sewed the entire cycle and stopped and did three tacking stitches at the end to secure. So when you're finished, just raise the presser foot lifter. And here is your beautiful one-step buttonhole, perfectly sized for your button that's in the foot. You can use your seam ripper from your accessories to cut the buttonhole open. But before you do, it's a good idea to place a pin at one end so that as you cut the buttonhole open, you don't accidentally cut too far and cut through that end of the buttonhole. Place the tip of your seam ripper into the end of the buttonhole, and then just carefully guide it up the middle until you come all the way across. Remove the pin, and there you have a perfectly sized buttonhole for your button.